Watch out. Guardian Angel's about. Hi, Virgo. It's Bella Katrina here. We're doing a romance love reading. We've got Jesus, the romance angels, and Cupid is about. Now, Cupid is real. And they all said, before you do Virgo, because I sit in channel, you have to wash up and you have to vacuum and dust. How funny. And I thought, well, I am a Virgo moon. So I did it for you. And here we are. Total eclipsing in love. So that's what we're doing here. That's your mission on earth is to bring the highest vibration of love possible. And that's why Jesus is so close because he is the master of releasing any unforgiveness. Also, these Ascended Masters cards came out from Doreen Virtue. But I've taken out the Egyptian part because it, I remember a past life where I walked out of Egypt and it wasn't, they didn't like us. They were scared of me. So they were the, like fallen angels to me, personal experience. So I've chosen to take a few out. However, they still wanted to stay here for Virgo. Then I took Jesus out and it's like they're still here. So this is the first message, but we don't have a few of them in because they just don't resonate with me. So I just want to see who comes out for Virgo. And let me tell you, let me tell you, let you tell me how you've been going. Whoa, Serapis Bay. See, go now. So we're going to put him out. I do get Lady Nada. There is a positive change coming up for you. Mother Mary is here for you. And Paul the Venetian and Francis. And we've got another one here, Merlin. Unreal. So you've got an actual master. Oh, look. Okay. I want to do a full reading there with them because they just want to get a message across. This is the tarot from Lucy Cavendish. We're going to do that in a minute. We're also going to get a message here from the Gaia Oracle. So I'm going to get those out now, they're saying. Whoa, lots of messages downloading straight away for Virgo. So you've had a bit of a tough time. And now it's all going to clear. It's like being in the storm and there's a mist. So you really do need to get out of your mind because you can't think your way out of things. You know, remember the mind is a pinball machine. Your thinking got you into the predicament that you're worried about. So your own thinking cannot get you out. That's the trick of the devil. The, lo the lower energies keeping you distracted in your mind. You know? So we really need um, Virgo here to focus because you're the ones who are going to ground this vibration into Gaia, into planet Earth. You are the custodians of planet Earth. I don't know whose that is. I do work with the Palladians, so I think that's Ashtar Command. So the Venus beings of light from the planet of love, Venus, have already ascended to bliss. It's happened. They're gone. And the Palladians are just about to leave. So we are ascending. This is happening. So all unforgiveness has to be released from your heart or you won't ascend. It's unbelievable how it's come down to your heart chakra. We travel interdimensionally through our heart. And Jesus has the ray, right? And the ray connects to your heart and that is your pathway out. Only those that are connected get to go. I found this out through energy work. So here you are, Virgo, lots of messages. The Twin Flames got this and another, another um, zodiac sign got this. Positive news, positive outcome, right? Because that's what you need. You just need some relief. I get that that's a relief. We're just going to do one more for you. Peace. Wow, that's the second time and eternal love. So there is love and you will achieve those achievements that you think you've given up on. They're, they're just going to happen in a different way to what you had in mind. So please don't give up on your dreams. In fact, you're going to make them a little bit stronger. And, you know, you're different now. You're in a different space. You've had the DNA awakening energies and you've been feeling a bit um, out of sorts. And then all of a sudden you get really clear. And this message may help this clarity. The anxious wait is nearly over and a time of celebration is near. You will soon receive good news. This may come from a land far away or it may come from someone close to you. In any case, an issue of major importance has a positive outcome. This may relate to you or someone dear to you. What a relief. Oh, 
You can now rest easy in the knowledge that all is well. Thank the universe for this blessing and give thanks to the earth and stars also. Remember that our lives are forever held in the eternal embrace. Whether we know it or not, we are surrounded always by unconditional love. Affirmation. I thank the earth and stars, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit for every blessing. We give thanks to Jesus for the love that fills our heart. And we thank God unconditionally for his benevolent universe. Our minds are full of light and our hearts are forever grateful. I just love this artwork. It's Tony Carmine Salerno. And I do look at that as the Holy Spirit lifting up. Right? So there is a, such a thing as the Holy Spirit because that's got the seven gifts of healing from source creator peace dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts so any worry doubt or fear is illegal it's illegal i said to jesus once listen i'm worried about this and i was just wondering if i could hand it over to you and i need a miracle around it because it's really stressing me out and i've had enough and i just don't want to think about it anymore so here and I visualized myself giving it to him. I said, you look after it and oh, help me just wait for the miracle. Five seconds later, I remember sitting down going, how's Jesus going to do that? And then I, went, I could feel his presence next to me. And it was like he was handing it back to me. And I said, well, just for 20 minutes. I'll just worry about it for another 20 minutes. And he said, that's mental illness. <laughs> I was like, two minutes? He's like, mental illness. So worry, doubt and fear is actually mental illness. Because you don't do that in heaven. We don't do that in the fifth dimension. It doesn't exist. So you cannot bring it here. And when you get into your mind, that's where that is. Love is not in your mind. So please, allow it to slow down because peace is coming your way. Breaking free from a negative attachment. Very good, Virgo. Whether you realize it or not, this is massive. You have become too emotionally attached or dependent on someone or something. Or you have allowed or inadvertently caused someone to get too emotionally attached to you. What at first seemed like a healthy relationship or interest now seems to be taking over your life or is creating too much codependence. So codependence is when you make somebody else's reality more important than your own, you know, and you suffer as a result. A situation that initially seemed like a positive has now revealed its negative side. This, in effect, like a form of addiction, you are advised to examine this issue and then create some space between you. For your sake and the sake of others, you must do whatever it takes to break free from this negative emotional attachment. Initially, this may cause some resentment and even a sense of panic. But the end result will be worth it. When you manage to emotionally detach yourself from this issue, you will have learned a valuable lesson and this will serve you well in the future. We're just going to do a prayer now because Jesus just stepped forward. So dear Jesus, we call upon you now to help all Virgos emotionally detach from this emotional issue and relationship we ask that they take the lesson and the love and release all pain and attachment and we ask this in your name jesus christ thank you thank you i release myself from all negative attachment these are affirmations i trust that this is for my highest good i trust that this is for the highest good of all I help others most by not allowing myself or them be codependent. I look at every situation in a balanced way. So when you get from source and you get out of your mind, it goes to your third eye and that's where God is, your third eye. My third eye has just awoken, stretched, it's been pulsating, it's actually down lower than I thought and it's the visual is unbelievable. It's like galaxy you can see galaxy and it's it's not scary because it's like i'm in the fourth dimension i can see it and they're saying you'll be able to do that soon if you slow your mind down and get the guidance and then bring your mind into focus otherwise you're just going to sit in your mind and it cuts it off like a ceiling fan in your mind between your crown and your third eye but when you do let go you're really good at getting guidance right and that's when you're in nature and you're just chilling out not being emotionally hooked 
and drained and getting that peptide rush from others. You have to connect to source and then it flows down and out your heart. Down through your crown, your mind is still, it saturates your brain. It's actually energy, life force sent from your creator. And that's why we do Reiki to clear the matrix that's been set up. Yes, we're under frequency modulation. So this needs to take conscious effort to do this. It's not going to happen easily because once you turn the fan off on the ceiling, it still has momentum, you know, it's still going. So you have to practice. And as soon as you do, then my third eye opened. I couldn't believe it. It's like, oh, wow, because my clairvoyance is the slowest. Claire, out of the four, it's awake, it's awake but it's, it was different. Now it's like... Like I was going to say, it's like 3D, but I'm in 4D. <laughs> and I go up, then you go up. So I cleared the pathway and it can come down and then it fills up your heart. And once your heart is full, as you release unforgiveness and any shame, anything that you feel shameful or guilt about, you're not allowed to have those feelings either. They're illegal. Worry, doubt, fear, shame and guilt. Illegal. Unforgiveness. Illegal. <laughs> but heart, you're going to exchange all this for happiness, harmony and fulfillment and eternal love. Something is resolved very soon, a new page is turned as the concern you have dissolves and gives way to a period of sunshine. A time to relax and enjoy life, free of the worry and doubt that have cast a grey shadow over your life for the past few weeks. During the coming month or so, try to spend time in nature, allow yourself to reconnect with Gaia's nurturing and healing power. Immerse and surround yourself in her natural beauty, for she will help you restore your balance, harmonise your energy centres and replenish your body mind and spirit it may be difficult for you to switch off at first but after a few days as your thoughts slow down you will settle into a new and more relaxed rhythm make the most of this opportunity while you can isn't that beautiful eternal love i'm physically and emotionally connected to the healing power of mother earth i surround myself with her beauty and feel a deep sense of peace I'm free of worry. Each day I grow stronger and more relaxed. My life is in perfect balance right now. Beautiful messages from the Gaia Oracle. Okay, so we are going to get a message now from Jesus for Virgo. It's like you have um, cleared emotionally, right? And cleared on um, half of a spiritual level. You just got to clear physically. That means move house, change your environment. Something has to happen physically, and um, that, and then you got to get really clear mentally, and then the spiritual will connect. And it looks like it's going to happen really quickly. So you go from despair to joy, and you know it almost looks like you're a bit crazy, a bit crazy, but like a bit crazy because you know you flip, you know. It's like getting momentum and hitting the bottom of the pool. So you come up really quick, but you don't want, you don't want to get stuck halfway and distracted by the devil because then you get confused. You're like, was I going up or was I going down? But now you've got no momentum to push you back up, you know? So don't worry about how low you go, is what I'm saying, because that's, that's your, you know? Be not afraid, only believe. So when we ascend, we go to this beautiful planet and it's heaven you know it's heaven there's no pain all the animals you can cuddle them and the ocean has a, a symphony that sings to only you flowers you can have conversations with and hear about the whole of the universe and creation imagine a garden like that where the trees do have consciousness and communicate with you and heal you and you drink these beautiful waters that just replenish and revitalize you and there are lots of healing you do healing there they've been showing me because i wasn't realizing that we're actually leaving here we can't stay on this planet can't stay here it's too dangerous my father gives you the true bread from heaven see we're going to heaven so in heaven you don't have to pay rent you don't have to pay for electricity you don't have to pay for water you don't have to pay rates you just have to share your spiritual gifts. So you've got to start now because God gave them to you. So what are your spiritual gifts, Virgo? That's what you need to be focused on because that's your bread from heaven. And it's been under distraction and it's been under codependency. Codependency is like, I gave you that energy, I want it back. 
right? But if you're just getting from source all the time, you can give it out and you don't care where it comes back from. And your healers, look, heal the sick that are therein and say unto them, the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. That means Jesus is coming here. He can come through you, through your heart and heal others straight through your heart. Wow, I've never seen that before. Thank you, Jesus. If you let him into your heart, then your heart, oh, because that's what I say. I say, Jesus, open my heart so it too can do your work. So it's just showing me that that actually happens. The Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. So if you haven't met the Holy Spirit yet, you need to get baptized. This is the baptism, and it works after you get the connection. So you've got to slow down your mind, open your third eye, then you'll know. Then you have a knowing. It's not what somebody's telling you. You know, your vibration changes, and the Holy Spirit comes in. Now, we've got these Ascended Masters, and I am going to look at these. So I've done some a layout here. Serapis Bay we've got go now. So this is also showing me that this is um, feminine energy, divine feminine energy. You need the emerald ray of healing and the rose ray. See the emerald and rose ray from Lady Nada for, to heal connections to mother, wife, sister or daughter, especially if you're male, they're saying, especially if you're male. I don't know why that is. Oh, because it affects your relationships with all women, see? The relationship you had with your mother or that you have with your wife or your sister or your daughter or all of them. Because they're saying that that people can only give as much love as they know how to give. That's why you've got to go to Jesus because he's, he's like unconditional love. Like it's energy that once your heart forgives, it's euphoric and then it's overwhelming the amount of love like it doesn't exist here we don't even know what love really is and you're going to start doing this for yourself see mother mary the hands on the heart this is you nurturing your heart putting yourself first how do i feel today what could i do to make my heart happy today you just keep saying that and then something pops up because you slow down you listen and you get into nature what could i do to make my heart happy today Right? Because you're very, very creative. You're very, very artistic, right? I, I call him Paul the Venetian to do this channel to help me with creativity. And Mary Magdalene was a teacher to help teach you guys. So these two really run the channel. But now God has come in. God created, prime creator. Mm -hmm. And he's brought his son and he's brought the Holy Spirit. So that's what this was, the comforter. The Holy Spirit is the comforter because of the seven spiritual gifts. So he sends him in the name of Jesus Christ. It's when you say that name, the Holy Spirit comes in. He shall teach you all things. So I've been asking millions of questions about creation, about what's happening, about timelines, about everything. And Jesus is here and he's answering me everything. Sorry. And it's amazing. Like it's a two-way conversation and it's really... Um, what can I say? I was going to say it's it's real, but it's in reality. You know, like it's making sense. And then you get a revelation and then you get two or three synchronistic events that back it up. And then you go into the Bible, open it up to nothing. Never read the Bible before in my life. Open it up and go bang and then meditate on that. Like read it three times. That's me meditating on it. <laughs> and then leaving it. And then, because that's a download, and then just saying thank you for the upload. And then the aha moments have made me gasp <gasps> like that. It's like <gasps> lots and lots of that. So this is what's coming up for you because those feathers that dropped are little messages that you'll go, <gasps> and you got the message from the Holy Spirit. Oh, you did too. Because it's time for you to work your magic by following your heart. What does my heart want to do right now? What would make my heart happy today? It's expression, full self-expression here. And that helps it flow now. You're getting from source and now you're giving out through your heart chakra. See, even Paul the Venetian's on his heart. It's the heart. And here, then once that's full, Saint Germain will help you work your magic. And then you actually activate the Merkaba. So that is what a Merkaba looks like. And that's between your throat chakra and your heart. And this is what you ascend from it actually expands all out the whole of your body and it lifts spins and we go it's unbelievable we are light workers 
warrior spirits, masters of the light. And you are called to action here, Virgo, for some reason, called to action. Because also you need energy healing. You need to get a healing with Bella to clear your energy. I'm an energy healer like Merlin, <laughs> right? Because you need to ground it. See him bringing it down? See how that's, it's actually coming down. He's not bringing it up. He's bringing it down. This is what the Virgos are showing me, to anchor it into Gaia. She needs you just for a minute to really go into the park. Go, aren't you beautiful? I love you. Send some love to the park, to the ocean, to animals all in it. Sit on it. I sing to her. I sing to her. So on my journey, she was the first one I fell in love with Gaia. And then I fell in love with um, Creator. And my twin was in there because I'm in a twin flame sort of thing. And um, sort of thing. Listen to me. It's an epic, massive journey. You can't even possibly imagine. It's actually spinning me right out. And um, then Jesus appeared. When your heart's clear, helps you with unforgiveness. And then the... the once this Merkaba activates, your soul has a song and it has a call and it has a cry. And then you can actually do light language and speak in tongues and things like that. So this opens the doorway, the gateway to the multiverse. Oh, wow. So following your heart, right? Always, always, always. It's not what you think, it's how you feel. It's the opposite of what we've been brought up to. And every time you go into your feelings, you get a distraction. The iPhone goes. Someone on Facebook put, put a comment. Ding, ding. Somebody's at the door. Blee, blee, blee. It's like, get out in nature. And let it go. So I'm going to include here... We have in Reiki a Kuan Yin symbol and I have done an energized silence in a couple of minutes for you and I'll put it at the end for you so that you can just receive the energy of compassion and so you can let whatever this massive epic, you know, this is like a massive epic addiction that you're just going to overcome like that with your energy and we've got to work with Mother Mary Saint Germain, Kuan Yin, and I'm going to read this as saying you have to read this to them. Oh, there's lots going on. Like, this is extra. And because it's your birthday, happy birthday. I hope you've enjoyed this month and your birthday. And let me know in the comments how you're going with your energy and what's happening because you know once you oh, it's, it's already opens oh, i can't believe that um and i'm looking for it once you hit your number there's a number that you hit on your birthday and you'll add up the month and the day and the current year 2017 and in the year that's the number you turn to on that day so it's very significant in energy your birthday so just know that if you're coming up to it or if it's over by now, um, that you're moving into a different shift. Oh, yeah, you're moving into a different energy. Sorry, I just got that. Oh, dear. Got Virgo Moon. So I'm in here, here with you. It's time for you to go either away from a toxic situation or towards something desirable. This card signals that it's the right time to make your move. The conditions are ripe and perfect and the universe is poised to support your move. Dear God, help Virgo move. The ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Quit your job, leave a toxic relationship, move to a new location, start a new project without delay, take a vacation, no more excuses, just do it. Sarah Pispe is an Egyptian god of ascension <gasps> and a bridge between heaven and earth. He's the ultimate life coach who motivates people to take good care of themselves physically, spiritually and emotionally. Call upon Serapis Bay whenever you need additional energy and motivation to take action. And even look at your learning an energy management system like Reiki with me. Because you've got, look, you've got energy healing, go now, energy healing, work your magic. This is manifesting, letting things go, creating, nurturing and forgiveness. So you've got to forgive anyone that's done the wrong thing by you, mother, sister, daughter, wife, or all of them. You forgive the person, not the action, and ask Jesus, help me forgive, help me do this, help me, help me. And he will help you because he's here, his energy's here, and he replaces it straight away with unconditional love. He's like, boom, boom. Like, you know what I mean? Like, as soon as you speak it out loud, that's how God created the earth. He spoke out loud. So you're going to create by speaking out loud. <laughs> Sorry. It's like they're bossing you around. I'm all hot as well. <laughs> 
So taking in the energy here from Jesus, we've got three Jesus out for Virgo. It's pretty serious. We've got the rose quartz, we've got the Tiffany, and also the amethyst here is helping with the feminine energy. It always helps with feminine energy in relationship to mother, that, the amethyst, and the others are just unconditional love, and plus a soda light. You know, get your metabolism going. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so when one fell out, as soon as one falls out, <gasps> divine timing, freedom, Da -na -na -na. you're out of jail. Whoa, that's good, whatever that means. <laughs> but I hope this is resonating with you. But I do feel lighter and I'm, I'm only like moon and I do feel lighter. Mm. Look, the two divine timing cards, that is hysterical. I don't know what's going on there. I've mixed two packs, have I? So I'm going to go straight here to the outcome and I feel energy in this in, in my solar plexus. So I get guardian angel really close, no more fretting, right? Got to ask for guidance or they cannot intervene. It's a universal law of free will. So you've got to ask. So we're going to just repeat out loud after me, dear guardian angel, I give you permission and ask to intervene on my behalf and help me go before me making easy my way thank you thank you wow and serenity so i don't know what that is there serenity oh it's a time of peace remember we've got the peace card as well a time of peace and this is all you'll see how this all had to cook it's like it was they're showing me it's what was a steward had to be cooked and it's like it tastes so much better it's like you had to wait for things to um you know fit fit into place but while you were waiting it was like unbelievable you know it's like being hungry and you're waiting for your meal at a restaurant you're sort of a bit agitated and cranky and there's nothing you can do though you just have to wait so this is like wow you did it and that brings in serenity because there's a massive because here you are focusing good well done, Virgo. We need you to focus on your priorities, on what's true for you. And manifestation, look, what you've asked for is coming true in a better way than you can even possibly imagine. It's going to be better, better, better. Better. So when you think about what is the best thing that could happen, think of it and then think what would be better than that. What would be better than that, right? I go blank. I go, I don't know, I don't know. And then I call him Jesus. I need help. What would be better? So he came in just then and he's saying, you have generated, right, a huge shift in energy by releasing this pain and this codependency because it actually is on a massive scale. So you're doing micro, but you're affecting the macro. Please know that. And because you've done that, I'm laughing at about the... the three divine time the two divine timing i mean honestly i thought i'd lost one you know throwing it away but no now i got two <laughs> so you had to wait you understand timing because you understand cycle you understand nature the moon everything and you just pass through your birthday so that's the cycle and also the new moon the eclipse blah 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 right so it's been massive and now there's a sense of freedom so even if your physical circumstances haven't changed your energy is has changed you know that you've collapsed the timeline where you are and the new fresh energy has come in to start again it's really really good and it brings in divine timing new love and enchantment are they divine look here's two cupids for virgo two that's so funny most people don't get one, but no, you're getting two. So I've actually met Cupid. He's real. Cupid's real. Can you believe that? I mean, I know, but you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, he's because my third eye open, I, I can see him now. It's like, wow. And then I felt him. He's come to me twice, three times. I felt his arrow and I've never felt that before in my entire life. So how close is he? A new chapter in your love life begins, whether it is with a new person or partner or rekindled love in a current relationship. Yeah, Cupid has struck you, Virgo, twice. 
Open your heart to a new infusion of divine love through a partner in your life. The angels are preparing you to be aware of new people entering your life as a new mate may be unlike your previous partners. Be open to changes in your current relationships and don't cling tightly to ideas of how you think relationships should be. This is a time of wondrous changes in your love life and you are asked to trust God and your guardian angels to work things out for your highest good. Changes in your love life will only be painful if you are rigid in your thoughts or behaviours. Behaviors. If you flow with the current of love, you'll find that old parts of your love life wash away. They are rapidly replaced by new aspects that will delight you. Current relationships may end, or they may act as a transition into a new phase of passion and renewed love. Or a new partner may enter your life, inspiring great happiness for you both. I have to read this one now. Guardian Angel, they're making me do it. Okay. So I've got Guardian Angels here. Pfft, I wasn't going to say that at all. I've got the Romance Angels here and Cupid is so close to Virgo. Watch out. He's, if you, ha you haven't felt Cupid's arrow, it's real and it's about to strike you twice. And then you've got two Divine Timing cards. So don't get distracted by any doubt, worry or fear. Because you don't want to miss Cupid and be in your mind. Because then you'll be a bit wobbly. And that's when the... the dark side and the codependent person can you know drain you and dump on you your guardian angels want you to know how much they love you right now your angels love is completely unconditional and all-encompassing but these pictures aren't they pretty you are not alone you drew this card as a love letter from your guardian angels who want you to know we're here we're right here we have never left you and can never leave you your guardian angels say that you deserve their help and attention there is nothing that you could ever have thought said or done that could ostracize you from your divine helpers they achieve they achieve they never judge or abandon you for the mistakes you make the angels are simply here to support you so that you can spiritually grow and then help others so there seems to be an awakening here. Awakening, I get. Awakening. Any Anything else? Ideas, inspirations. I'm going to do the whole lot. In your dreams, the real you emerging. Whoa. So this would be, you know, the beginning of an epic journey. But it's not as hard. It's not going to be as hard as you think because emotionally you've actually over it. Like emotionally you're gone. And a little bit mentally. So when the other clarity comes in mentally, you'll physically get away and then spiritually you'll be gone. You'll be connected to who you're meant to be. Okay, especially if you're a twin flame, but we're doing soulmates here. So we're going to do a snapshot for Virgo. We're looking at the next month and we're asking Cupid to stay here, bring in romance angels and we're asking Jesus, please come into our heart. Help release all unforgiveness from our heart and mind. And fill us with unconditional love so that we can be magnets to divine love and activate the divine love template in others and in Gaia. Wow. Virgo, you think? You've got some serious guardian angels here. They're making me chitter chat. Chitter chat to you. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a quick snapshot here, right? Eh? Because, you know, it's nothing like a quick snapshot. I don't know what quick means. Wow. Wow. I'm just going to take a big deep breath here. This is showing me it's like a silver pot that's, you know, been in the dust and then all of a sudden comes out and you get that, what's it called? Steelo? Steelo. Shino Brasso. <laughs> Brasso. <laughs> and clean it. And it starts to sparkle and it really is you. This is you. So please, we're looking at marketing yourself. I know this is a love reading, but they're saying, please, you don't realize what your skills and talents really are. So you're needing to list your top four things that you love doing. And the then top four things that I'm really, really good at. Because you're giving that to the universe. That's what you want to do all day. You want to You want to use your talents and skills and your gifts for the universe so and you want to be enjoying it 
and that's all that's it everything else is going to be delegated how exciting because look you got your mojo back this is sort of a little bit of um sacral chakra clearing as well and clearing your passion for life itself and your connection to spirit and gaia so this has been happening and it's been welling up, welling up, welling up, like in the pressure cooker, it's been cooking. And here you are, like, don't know which thing to do first, right? Go this way, go that way, decadence, indulgence. I'm just going to let it myself relax. I'm going to let go. Oh, I fell in the cup. Oh, look at me. I forgot to put my top on. Ooh, look at me. Oh, I've got the biggest straw ever. No, I do, I do. It's like that. It's like... Woohoo, you know, not serious, not planning, not thinking, not, you know, not in your mind. Just absolutely just letting go. And because you have to, because this is time, it's time. The time has come, it's cooked, it's ready. Let's go. We're going to pack that lunch and off we go. <laughs> so the high priestess is here. You're only going to follow your intuition. This is blind. People go, what are you doing? Where are you going? You're crazy. What's going on? You're like, I don't know, but I'm going. You know, have you ever been like that? That's what this is like. It's like, I only know my next step and it feels unreal and I feel freer than I've ever felt my entire life. And here is you, right? After this indulgence, you bring it all back into harmony and balance and temperance and you're different. You come out different. In this end of this month, this whole month cycle, you actually come out different. So now you're like, well, actually, I don't like those things anymore. I like doing this now because I'm really creative. So I like to paint or I like to do this. And I'm really good at this. I didn't know that, but I'm really good at, you know, talking to people. I'm really good at um, reading energy or I'm really good at um, organization or I'm really good at technology or I'm really good at, and I love doing this, 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 you know, it's that type of energy. And then your intuition will guide you, right? It's only little steps. Like you've got to take a risk. You've got to go, I don't know the whole journey. I just know that I've got to do this today and then balance every day like what's in this for me and here intuition again oh you're going off going off taking chances this is epic the next four weeks can have more fun than you've had in probably 10 years truly it's going to feel euphoric even though people be going you're crazy what are you doing you don't have you can't just leave your job what are you doing you can't just leave that you can't just move out of the house. Why are you living with your mum? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's funny. But you are, you're going to do it. Because look, it's time. So the wheel of fortune turns, right? And it's going to happen in the next two weeks. So hold on, because your power is going to come back in a new way that you have never experienced before. And you're going to even see yourself in a new way. And it's a second chance for you, right? There's a healing here, a second chance. This is you laying down your swords. Massive reading. Because you look, he's your soulmate. I knew that. Okay, so these are the extra cards here, right? Once the journey starts, which is you could follow your guidance, you've got to get out of your mind and get your guidance. Really, really important because the journey's starting with or without you. So you've got to get ready and then you start feeling better. You don't know why, but you're just following your guidance every step of the way. You know, the GPS, the destination is happiness and joy, everything I love doing and everything I'm really good at. That's it. So that's your GPS destination. So you sit in the car and it goes, turn left, right? Not like me, he goes, why would I want to turn left? I don't want to turn left, I want to go this way, right? And I've been in roundabouts and gotten lost with GPS and I start yelling at the GPS. Have you ever done that? So we're going to say no to that. I'm going to turn the radio off, which is our mind, the ceiling fan. And we're going to listen. And without judgment, just follow. Oh, I'm going to go and get bananas. Oh, I think I need to go for a walk. Or I'm just going to stop here and get some blah, blah, blah. Or I'm just going to call so-and-so. It's like not in any way, should I, shouldn't I, is this good, is this bad, is this right, is this wrong? It's none of that. Uh, uh, uh. As soon as you're doing that, you're off track. Get out of your mind and then you'll be doing it. You know, you're automatically doing it. This is where synchronicity kicks in. This is where your second chance at life comes in. Your second chance is like being reborn. And you will. You get born again. And soulmate here. Decisions. The lovers. There's a lover coming in. This is a new lover. And we're going to go straight into romance angels with that. So the next two weeks, care less. And it's not even like worrying about love, you know, because you feel so fantastic. You're so magnetic. <laughs> We'll need a stick, Virgo. <laughs> Won't that be fun? 
So if you do have lots of attention and lots of suitors, you know, you've got to figure, you've got to stay grounded so you know which one you feel the best in their presence. Does that make sense? It's about you this time around. Which one, not in your head, which one looks better, has the better house, car, you know, personality, friends. No, uh, 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 it's how do I feel in their presence? And you're not going to know that unless you get out of your mind and ground it. And then you'll know. It's so clear to you. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Message from the Romance Angels. Very exciting. If you do need help with it, I offer a Soul Session six pack, which is, you know, going through this. That's why I asked for a, a Reiki to attunement with it because it's karma releasing soul integration, you know, and past life therapy, collapsing of six timelines in there. So it's, you know, if you need help with that, Virgo, this is be a great time to do it because you don't want to miss this, right? You've got to be ready because it's been epic. Letting, letting go of control issues and free falling. Too late to pack the parachute. You've got to jump. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and here you are expressing how you want, how you want, how you want to feel. Yeah, there's a separation coming up from somebody or something. And it's a separation from not listening to your heart anymore, you know? And this makes you more attractive and it makes life more attractive to you, if that makes sense. And then you're ready. You're calling in your soulmate prayers, affirmations, visualizations, and chemistry ignites. It's a strong chemical magnetic attraction here. It's not immediate, but it's saying the next four weeks, definitely. And the energy or people around you is it's already in energetically. This order has already come in. This is already connected energetically, which actually has facilitated this separation because you've been asking and you'll be asking the universe to show you who it is. And it's somebody who's familiar. It's a reconciliation. There's a past life connection or two or three, but it's epic. It's epic. Do you get twin flame around that as well? So if you don't know you're a twin flame yet, you might be. So have a look at my twin flame reading, especially the one for the last month. Thank you so much for tuning in. Massive reading. Thank you to Jesus in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We ask that you heal our heart, help us open to your love, and confess with our mouth that you have come for us. And we ask that you bring in unconditional love so that we can be in connection with our true soulmate or twin flame. <laughs> and we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I love you, Virgo. Thanks for your comments, insights, and for chatting with me. Book your free upgrade. Get your power shabam as soon as possible or start learning Reiki with me. I am here for you. Love you. Bye for now.